today because we've got another car for you to have a, have a look at. We're going to wander down the pit lane. Simon's out in it now having a quick drive. So we'll uh, wander down because the biz guys are down there now. We'll have a quick word with those before we have a look at the car. Now, I'd like to say thanks to everyone who uh, got involved with testing the Sony car. Some really good results, some great feedback. So thanks very much to those guys. Now, Biz, Biz is the company that we've been using for, I mean, I've been working with these guys for at least 10 years, and in fact, we've been working with Biz for over 20 years, and these guys really know their stuff. So first of all, we've got Rob here, who's the technical manager, and James, who's a new international sales manager. Thanks, so we've got the top guys down. So we're gonna wait for the car. Hopefully it's gonna come in now, and then we'll have a quick check. This is the new um, NG1, and I guess I'll ask Rob, as a technical guy, first. What's uh, what's the latest features on this? What's new from our from our current fleet? Well, it's glaring obvious. This is only one inch. Bending the track rods, the tracking remains the same, so the handling remains consistent throughout the life of the car, which is once again a big bonus. James, you you obviously selling these things. What's yes. what's your number one? You know, when you when you're selling these guys, you know, how do you, how do you sell it? Is it big, performance? Is it safety? It, it's always a big. The great thing about this car is it's solid performance. So it handles really great, but it's also super strong. So from the track owners, operators' yeah. point of view. You don't want to be spending lots of maintenance. You want the carts on the track as often as possible. From a driver's point of view, you have needs to drive well. You need to be able to get in the corners, overtake, and have fun on the track. And this is what this cart does for you. Fantastic. Right. Now, I've uh, downloaded the spec sheet off the website. Um, first of all, LPG. Um, you know, obviously we've been in the game a long time. Usual petrol carts. Yep. What can you tell me about LPG? Why might the move over? Is it comparable? It's, it's more or less comparable to petrol. Okay. 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 But, but the way it's delivered into the engine can compensate for that. Right. So you can end up with a car that feels as equal to the petrol. Sometimes it can even feel a little bit better. So smoother in the rev range? Yeah, it's cleaner, Around, it's yeah. more environmentally friendly. Safer. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Well, it's in a sealed container, no spillage yeah. or such like that. Yes. It has various safety features within the system. So if you were to shear a pipe due to an accident, it has an automatic shut off valve yep. in the different train system. So it stops an excess flow of gas. Uh, all things you don't get from petrol. No, of course, you know. Fantastic. Other thing um, remote speed control system. Now, I know we've got one of those at the moment. 
Are you the man to speak to yeah, about that? Yeah, you're talking about remote speed control. So what that gives you as an operator, you need control of the circuit in the event of an accident where you need to remote slow the drivers down. Yeah. So it gives you back a little bit of control. It's an added safety device. Fantastic. Okay, so people ignore the yellow flags and red flags. You can regain a little bit of control. Fantastic. Now Lee's come in. I don't know if this is a quick pit stop. What are we doing? Tire pressures. Talk us through. Brand new set of tyres, just dropping the tyre pressures down to what they're supposed to be at. Okay, and can you very quickly tell us what the difference is for you? We're taking a little bit out, and let's have a big one. It's a new set of tyres, so we run them a little bit higher just to scrub them in, dropping the tyre pressures down to what they should be, so it would affect the handling massively if they're not in the correct pressure. Right. Okay, so what does it do? If, you, if you're taking a bit out, how, how does it affect the steering? Does it give you oversteer, it, it, understeer? It should be a little bit lighter steering now. Here, I noticed there's one of the options, most of these, but 50 mil rear axle. Now, obviously, we've got in normally we, we've got the um, 30 mil yep. solid. Now, this is a hollow, oh, so hollow is a halfway house between a, a 50 mil, right? Because what we've got is, is, is a 30 mil solid, yeah, right? But this is actually 30 mil hollow, hollow, right? The advantage of that over solid is a lighter axle and it's actually yep. stiffer, so it's a good half measure between what you've got and a 50 mil is overall a much stiffer axle. Much stiffer axle can help in terms of the handling. Yep. Uh, it can minimise any hopping or skipping from the car. Yeah. Because there's no diff. Yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah, it, it makes it more dynamic. It, it yeah. lifts better and things like that. Move but more excited to yeah, drive. yeah. And the other thing, you can with a 50 mil axle, the bearing hangers and everything are bigger, so you, you can generally buy a bigger, more durable bearing. Yeah. 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 Super. Well, thanks guys. Really excited. I haven't driven the cart myself, but especially with the weather as it is, I will absolutely get out sometime this week and I'll let you know how I got on. Now, as we did before with the Sodi, uh, we want to invite people to come and have a go, give us their honest feedback. But last time we were inundated with uh, messages. Um, so many people wanted to have a go. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to randomly pick through our database and invite a number of customers down, give us their feedback. Um, so please keep an eye on your email inbox over the next couple of days uh, because we'll sort out that out. Now, something else I was going to add, James has also said that he'd like to invite three drivers down to the BIS factory to have a tour, um, and walk around, and I think that's an exciting gift. So what we're going to do, we're going to randomly pick from all the guys who come down and give us you know, feedback. We're then going to pick them out of a hat and the top three, pick three we pick out, we'll give uh, James the details and we'll get you to come down to the factory. Okay guys, thanks and uh, we'll see you again.